Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, the 13th, 2022. Those of you that might be a little bit um, superstitious might want to run for cover today. <laughs> but actually, I think today might be the first chance of a little bit of a relief rally in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up on this Friday. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Boy, yesterday was another dismal day where we had the PPI number disappoint investors and we continued our selling. Uh, ways here in the market um, continuing to move down sharply setting new 2022 lows in the market however right at the last 30 minutes of the day if we take in a just a really um, short-term chart here a 15 minute chart we had a nice little rally here in the last few minutes of the day rallying back up providing us a little bit of a hammer pattern and maybe that hopefulness that a little bit of relief can occur in the market we do have some things to be concerned about today and we will want to respect upside resistance levels in the chart as we try to rally but at least we have that little hope of a um, small relief. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we look right in here on the Dow, obviously we could rally quite a few points here to rally right back into resistance levels in the chart. So if we do trigger a little bit of a short squeeze, and that would be where all of those short traders kind of get forced out of the market. And honestly, I think that's what really triggered this. I don't think it really was a buying effort so much as short traders just starting to cover some short positions, take some profits in the market, um, and relieving a little bit of that selling pressure. So make sure you're respecting these resistance levels in the chart. Don't rush in with the idea that it's all over because I honestly don't think it is. As a matter of fact, Jerome Powell came out yesterday and admitting that um, they might not be able to catch a soft landing here in the market with with more rate increases coming on the way. We've still got a lot of work here to do before we can really start to feel any major relief in the market. So if we do rally, respect those resistance levels as we push up there because that may be just the next opportunity for the bears to attack and potentially short um, things in the market. If we can start breaking some of these resistance levels and holding higher lows, we may get a little bit more follow through to the upside. But remember guys, we've got a lot of terrible technicals in these charts that need to be repaired. So I wouldn't get into the idea that it's just going to be um, from here all, all, all the way back up. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't think that is going to be the case. So watch this um, as we rally back toward that 500 day moving average, we could find some some resistance in there and if we can get up through that area a little bit further maybe look right up into here if we can stretch that up into here watch that and then we will come in contact with that downtrend here in the market notice that our fit 34 and and 20 EMAs have uh, bro broken down through the 50. Um, so certainly a lot of resistance in that chart, both price action wise and technical right through this area. But that would be a substantial rally back up if we can get up into there. That would certainly relieve a lot of this pressure. If we take a look at the SPY, very much the same thing, terrible technical patterns, but a little bit of relief starting to show in that hammer pattern. Well, not really a hammer pattern, more of a spinning top doji here on um, the SPY chart. But notice if we can rally back up, we might test some resistance in right in there. And if we can really get going, we push up into this area of the chart if those bulls can um, stay on task. Remember though, we still have some economic data coming our way that could yet disappoint. And that means that we cannot rule out that possibility that those bears come back in and push back down. Remember, we've got a lot of uncertainty in those geopolitical 
tensions out there in the market as we slide toward the weekend leave substantial uncertainty as to what comes next. Um, keep, a, keep an eye on those downtrend levels in the chart as well and remember that our technicals here have an awful lot of work to do to repair. So once again we could rally back into that area right there up toward that 500 day moving average. If we can pop through there then we have that opportunity to slide a little bit high, higher here but we can't rule out that possibility that you know, consumer sentiment numbers today could tank um, all of these hopes of that rally so watch these and respect these levels as we rally back to the upside remember the fed is not there to support the market now the fed is on the other side of the market trying to slow the economy down to reduce inflation if we take a look at qqq qqq very dismal chart here as you can see we've crossed down into some of these support levels here we're very oversold in the short term that is for sure and any rally back we could start challenging some of these resistance levels in the chart watch up here if we could move all the way back up into there that would be phenomenal if we could move all the way up there but keep in mind um, at any point in time at any of these resistance levels that we see in here we could still have those bears attack and continue to push us lower and our technicals here are very ugly here keep in mind that we are well below our uh, 500 day moving average are 34 EMA and 20 SMA have crossed down through the 500 day and that 50 day is diving fast for um, a crossover of that 500 day. So you'll want to keep in mind right in here guys there is that possibility um, if we can rally back into there that we still have such a huge resistance level that we could see more selling. So don't just run in here thinking that all is um, all has been fixed because we know that's not the case. Let's take a look at our um, IWM. IWM certainly very very bearish here continuing to move in the downtrend but we've got that little relief coming in. As, as a matter of fact IWM um, as far as the index uh, indexes go showed probably the biggest tenacity in trying to rally yesterday pushing up we'll want to watch some of these levels right through here and if we can pop up into there then we can move back toward this um, area in the chart keep in mind downtrends in place so remember we can also just consolidate we don't necessarily have to have a sharp rally we could pop up here and then just kind of rest out here toward that trend so watch those carefully and remember our technicals here are are horrible 50-day moving average has already crossed down through the 500 um, not a good situation so we've created a massive level of price resistance right here in the chart not just price but um, technical resistance in the chart I don't think we're done with the downside move in this market just yet but we are overdue for a relief rally and we may just catch something like that today let's take a look at our VIX one of the things that has been a little bit perplexing to me is that the VIX has not shown a lot of fear in the last few days we haven't shown a lot of fear in the market as we continue to sell off it was quite light light so that kept me thinking that there was that possibility that a relief rally could be on the way and certainly if we get some more bad news we could spike above this level and that could really bring in some hardcore selling and some panic but for now we're pulling back here just a little bit and I would look for possibly a little bit of relief where we can push this down a little bit more and if we can start breaking down through um, 30 um, in the chart we might even come back into this 25 26 area of the VIX so maybe a little bit of relief on the way but remember if we get some really bad numbers today that possibility of popping through here could bring those sellers in and bring them in hard so watch carefully if we take a look at our T2122 once again this gives us our best hope of that relief rally to the upside 
notice in here that even with the, the, the big push at the end of the day, it barely wiggled that T2122 on the daily. However, if I take it to the hourly, you can see there was a little bit of a hope right there in that lift in that last half hour um, of the day picking us up. And the 15 minute certainly displays that pretty closely that we popped up here. But we have to keep in mind that um, if data continues to come out bad, um, we could still see those bears attack. Let's watch this carefully because we've opened up a big opportunity for an upside relief move, but remember to pay close attention to those resistance levels and downtrend levels in the chart. Always respect them as long as we're in this downtrending market. Let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 also trying to hook just a little tiny bit at the end of the day here, trying to lift back up, but but certainly this is not a bullish case for the market. Only 11.5% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Now, it also gives us that little bit of hope that we are so oversold that the relief rally could be a nice substantial relief rally. So don't count your chickens before they hatch here, but um, we are very extremely um uh, I should say, we are extremely oversold in the short term. And this gives that little bit of hope that we might catch that relief. The same thing is true on the T2107. We are so extremely bearish here that that relief rally could have a little bit of upside in it. So watch that for that opportunity. We could relieve some of this selling pressure. But keep in mind, we've got a lot of work to break resistance levels and to actually break downtrend. So we're a long ways from being all clear here in the market. Our T2101 continue to show us that um, selling wave, um, that tenacity of those bears as that uh, momentum continued to stay to the downside, even with that last 30 minutes of rally in the market. Um, it is certainly showing us that the um, downtrend is in play. Perhaps we can get some relief on that today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, um, not so busy here today and, and not the kind of, sorry, I keep picking up that other window. Um, we're not, um, um, the kind of reports that move us tremendously, but we will want to pay attention to this closely. We have import ex export prices here um, at 8.30 this morning. Um, I can't imagine those are going to be great numbers. So watch for the p potential that we could get disappointed in some of these numbers and still see those bears stay active. Um, and then my favorite uh, number out there in the market is the consumer sentiment. Sentiment tells us that takes the the temperature of the consumers and we are a consumer based economy if the consumers are not happy the market is usually not happy so kind of keep an eye on that with fuel prices hitting new record levels um, in um, in the United States here, I just can't imagine the consumers are feeling too spunky. So watch carefully for that. That's the number that I think could have the potential to bring the bears back on. So just watch carefully for that. Got a couple of Fed speakers in there. We always want to pay attention to those um, as they come around. So keep a close eye. Then if we take a look at our earnings calendar today, we have about 75 companies listed on the earnings calendar. But you know what, guys? A, a great big number of them are unconfirmed. Confirmed. And what we're really seeing is a whole lot of um, not so notable companies um, <laughs> that will be reporting. So, for example, uh, DTEGY um, um, is one of the companies that I picked up here, somewhat notable for today. But as you can see, not exactly uh, what you consider to be a big market mover or one of those things that um, is going to change directions of markets. Um, HMC. HMC um, will be reporting today. I uh, want to pay attention to that. Um, LFMD is on the list, and I don't know why I put this on the list. Um, $1.94 stock, it, not exactly going to be a big market mover, but this thing has come down so sharply here. Maybe it can catch a relief if the reports are good. Um, RGF. 
um, on the list. Again, um, not exactly a, a notable, but I was kind of stretching to try and find something in here that um, uh, might be something of interest. So in SDPI, uh, are really about the only stocks that I could come up with um, that had any kind of major interest to the market at all uh, for today. So very light on that day. Keep in mind that next Monday we have a very busy day in those earnings reports, but then after that the number of earnings drop off substantially and we're really kind of uh, doing an awful lot of just um, a very small caps. So we're kind of fading out of um, second quarter earnings season. Let's take a look at um, um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when you uh, when, when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, please do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. Um, I apologize yesterday, I didn't get to most of those comments until really, really late, but I did get through them all. Thank you so much, guys. You always humble me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, I just wanna say thank you so much to, to everyone who continues to, um, you know, just, just post on the channel. It helps the channel to continue to grow. You guys are awesome. So taking a look at a few charts that could be setting up. Now, some of this is going to have to be pretty speculative um, in, in the possibility of a rally. But if you take a look at um, stocks like um, Microsoft, Microsoft showing a little hammer patterns. Um, it's possible we could get a little bit of follow through to the upside here and maybe attack some resistance levels in the chart. So if you really are desperate for a trade, um, you might want to look at this. And what I would suggest is you may have to go to more of an intraday chart if you wanna get into some of these. Make sure we can break these downtrends and we can actually hold a higher low and see follow through to the upside. That's where we can get that bullish move um, in there and get things going. So you may have to manage those on a little bit shorter term aspect if you're looking at some of those techs. Now I would expect if we do get a nice relief rally, a little bit of a short squeeze could be triggered, meaning that all of those short traders cover those short positions, forcing the stocks higher still. So we could get substantial moves, but you're going to have to be very, very careful with all of these, particularly in tech, because our bond prices are spiking back up this morning. Um, they pulled back yesterday, but they um, um, 10 year and 30 year are up nine basis points this morning. So um, they're pushing back to those higher rates. Um, watch carefully in here. And then let's take a look at some of those defensive sector stocks. Take a look at stocks like KHC. Now KHC didn't have a great performance yesterday, but I gotta tell you when we're seeing the markets just sell, 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 it's nice to keep an eye on stocks that have been holding upside trends. So watch that KHC in here. Uh, food prices we know are going higher they continue to go higher and good old boring companies like this that pay dividends um, are looking pretty favorable here for the market so watch those closely we could also take a look at Schmucker's SJM gotta type the right symbol though SJM SJM has been working on a breakout here Watch that carefully. If um, that has that opportunity to push on through, could be an, a nice potential trade. You might wanna look at stocks like, um, talk about old boring companies, Post. Um, Post in here, holding on to um, some um, resistance highs in here and pulling back. But I gotta tell you, there's that trend. Hold the support in here could provide that opportunity for that next upside move in that chart. I'd keep an eye on post. I'd keep an eye on GIS. GIS trying to push through some resistance here in the chart. So I would watch that closely. And you'd want to add in things like Kellogg's. Uh, very, very strong here, holding a nice little upside pattern. Watch for that next opportunity for those to move up. And we're seeing that in a lot of these defensive sector areas. So keep a close eye on those. You might want to take a look at Hormel. Hormel pulled back here, trying to find some support here in the chart. 
and that opportunity that Hormel could move on higher. Now Tyson, Tyson's been struggling a lot more and I would avoid Tyson for the moment, even though it's a defensive sector stock, um, it's just not showing that bullishness yet. We, we might catch a little bit of support here, but remember guys, before I'm gonna turn a downtrend bullish, it's gonna have to break that downtrend and hold the higher low before I could really recommend that as an upside trade. So keep an eye on that. If you're looking for some relief rally and believe a relief rally could be on the way here, then you might want to take a look at some of the financials. Financials have been oversold and and you know financials are looking at some major problems ahead um, with those big banks but a little relief rally could bring us back into some resistance so if you want to try and speculate long for a little bit fine but what I'd be doing on these charts and a lot of these charts as we rally back to these resistance levels and downtrends in the charts I would be watching carefully for the next opportunity to short so as they rally back up into these areas watch for that next opportunity to pick up short positions and we're going to see that in a lot of stocks here um, as they rally back to those big resistance levels um, another place that you might look is take a look at um, some of the healthcare Merck Merck has been beautiful here popping through and I've had this on um, alerted here in the chart the alert was right here and we're pushing up into some um, all-time high resistance in the chart. Watch that carefully if that can pop on through. I will tell you that once a stock gets up into this range, 100, the big round number of 100 starts to pull pretty hard on that. So that opportunity that Merck could rest in here just a little bit and yet continue to move on up toward 100 looks like a pretty good opportunity maybe for a chart. So watch some of those healthcare. Those those are holding up quite well but I got to tell you overall guys there's just not a lot of really great long charts here in the market unless you're looking in that defensive sector you can speculate certainly um, on some of these stocks way oversold for a, um, a nice little relief but as they approach those resi resistance levels in the chart make sure you are respecting those um, um, take a look at FDX this is a chart that I am um, alerted uh, put have an alert on and you can see we're sliding out from underneath that downtrend here in the chart and if we can continue um, to break out from under here notice that nice little higher low coming in here that opportunity that that may push through and another one that is interesting here to me would be 3m 3m is really really close um, to holding on to that 50-day moving average notice we have these little teeny tiny higher lows and that opportunity that 3m could perk on up here keep in mind these good strong divvy payers are the place where um, I think institutions have been rotating for a long time to um, provide themselves with a bit of um, um, yield even as the market looks so bearish. So keep an eye on that. If that starts to perk up, there may be an opportunity there. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be careful on this Friday the 13th. Um, we're, we would probably expect, even in a relief rally, the, the price action is likely to be very extreme and choppy. So make sure you're watching for those whipsaws. Make sure you're planning carefully heading into the weekend that we can have a full-on reversal after the weekend so don't get too overly bullish but there is that little bit of hope of relief i wish you all of the best have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early Bye.